Hey everyone, I'm Liz and today I'm going to show you how I made these crochet mermaid dolls. For this tutorial, you'll need the upper half of a doll for the body of your mermaid. So if you want to see how I made this doll body, you can click the link on the screen right now to see my mermaid doll body tutorial. You'll also need a crochet hook, I'll be using a size E, a pair of scissors to cut off your yarn, a yarn needle to sew in your ends, you'll also need fiber fill to stuff your doll, and you'll need yarn. I'll be using Lavender Ivy from Red Heart with Love for the tail, and Green Tones from Red Heart Super Saver for the fins, but you can use any air and weight yarn you like. For this doll, I used five different colors and changed colors for each stitch. For this one, I used a variegated yarn. You could also use two different color worsted weight yarns at the same time like I did for this doll here. And for this one, I used two shades of metallic silver yarn. And if you would like a written version of this mermaid tutorial, I've made a pattern available in my Ravelry store, which can be found in the description below. I'm going to begin by creating a row of slip stitches all the way around the base of my doll. So I'm going to pull up a loop at the back of the doll, and slip stitch into each stitch at the base of my doll. Then once I get back to the beginning of my row, I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch of my row. Then I'm going to chain one. Next, I'm going to create a row of puff stitches into the bottom loop of my slip stitches from the last row. So to create a puff stitch, I'm going to yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull up another loop into the same stitch, and yarn over once more and pull up a loop into the same stitch. Then I'm going to pull a loop through all the loops on my hook. And into the next stitch I'm going to do that again, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull up another loop in the same stitch. And one more time, yarn over, pull up a loop in the same stitch. Then pull a loop through all the loops on my hook. And I'm going to continue making puff stitches all the way around until I get back to my first stitch. If you want, you could increase the back of your doll's tail by creating two puff stitches into the same stitch two times per row until you reach the desired width for the rear of your doll. But I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to puff stitch once in each stitch in this row. So I've reached the end of the first row of puff stitches. 
I'm going to continue adding puff stitches for two more rows to elongate the doll's rear. You can add as many rows as you wish, but I'm just going to continue for two more rows. Now I've finished with two more rows of puff stitches. Now I'm going to decrease for the thighs. So I'm going to keep adding puff stitches until I get to the back of the doll, where I'm going to decrease two times. Okay, I'm at the back of my doll. Now to decrease these puff stitches, I'm going to yarn over, Pull up a loop two times into this stitch. Then I'm going to yarn over again and pull up a loop in the next stitch. And then pull a loop through all the loops on my hook. And I'm going to do that again into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then crochet together. And you can continue to decrease two times per row for as many rows as you like until you have the width you want, but I'm just going to decrease for one row. Next I'm going to keep adding puff stitches for two more rows, but you can add as many rows as you like to elongate the thighs of your doll. I've gotten to the end of two more rows of adding puff stitches. Now I'm going to add some fiber fill to the top of the tail. And now once again I'm going to decrease to create the lower thighs. So I'm going to keep adding puff stitches until I get to the back of the work so I can decrease two more times. Okay, here at the back of the work, I'm going to decrease the same way I did last time. Yarn over and pull up a loop two times in the same stitch. Then yarn over and pull up a loop in the next stitch. Then crochet all those loops together. And once again in the next stitches, decrease again. Now I'm going to continue adding rows of puff stitches until the thighs are long enough. I'm going to add two more rows. Alright, I've gotten to the end of two more rows, now I'm going to add more fill. Now I'm going to decrease again in this row to create the lower legs. So I'm going to add more puff stitches until I get to the back of the work where I'm going to decrease two times again.
And here at the back, I'm going to decrease the same way I did in the previous rows. And once again, you can decrease for as many rows as you like. And now I'm going to keep adding puff stitches for six more rows until the legs are the right length. You can make your doll's legs as long as you like. So I finished six more rows of puff stitches and now I'm going to add some fiber fill to my doll's tail. Now to finish the tail part, I'm going to close the bottom of the work. So first I'm going to count my stitches. You basically want to have six stitches left before sewing the whole close. If you have 12 or more stitches left, divide the number of stitches left by six and then decrease by the resulting number minus one. Then just continue to decrease until you have only six stitches left. For instance, if you have 18 stitches left, 18 divided by six is three and three minus one is two. So decrease every second stitch and then decrease every single stitch. If you have more than six, but less than 12 stitches left, subtract six from the number of stitches left and decrease the resulting number of times so that you have only six stitches left. For example, if you have 10 stitches left, 10 minus six is four. So decrease four times so that only six stitches remain. I have 12 stitches left, and 12 divided by 6 is 2, and 2 minus 1 is 1, so I'm going to decrease every single stitch. And I'm going to do this the same way I've been decreasing this whole time, yarn over and pull up two loops in the same stitch. Then yarn over and pull up a loop in the next stitch. And crochet together and I'm going to continue to decrease every stitch of this row. And now before I close the bottom, I'm going to add a bit more fiber fill. And now to finish this part, I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch of the row and cut off my yarn. And I'm going to leave a long tail. Then I'm going to use my yarn needle to sew the hole at the bottom closed. And if you like, you could also use the tail to sew that loop at the bottom of the wire skeleton to the bottom of the tail. Now I'm going to create the fins at the bottom of the tail using my other color. 
Where you start really depends on how wide you want your doll's fins to be and how large you made your doll. I'm going to pull up a loop where I want to start the fins at the bottom of the tail. With my doll facing me, I'm going to pull up a loop here on the right side about an inch from the bottom of the tail. And chain one. And that chain is going to count as my first stitch. Then I'm going to single crochet around the tip of the tail to make the foundation of my doll's fins. I'm going to single crochet three more times on this right side then single crochet once in the middle, and single crochet four more times on the left side to create nine single crochets. So I created 9 single crochets around the bottom of my doll's tail, and now I'm going to take a bobby pin and I'm going to mark that middle single crochet. And then I'm going to chain 17. You can chain more or less if you want your doll spins to be longer or shorter. Just chain until you have the length you like. Now that I have my chain of 17, I'm going to slip stitch into the second chain from my hook. and then slip stitch again into the next chain. And next I'm going to half double crochet into the remaining chains until I get to the bottom of my chain. So to half double crochet, I'm going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and then pull a loop through all the loops on my hook. Alright, now I'm at the bottom, I have 14 half double crochets completed. So now I'm going to slip stitch to the next single crochet at the bottom of my tail here. And now I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And I'm going to half double crochet into the half double crochets from the previous row. But I'm only going to go into the middle loop of the half double crochet. And I'm going to leave this front loop and this back loop facing the outside of the work. So I'm going to half double crochet in each stitch except for the last two half double crochets for a total of 12 half double crochets. Then I'm going to decrease the last two half double crochet stitches together. So I have just two half double crochet stitches left in the previous row. 
So to decrease those together, I'm going to yarn over, pull up a loop, then pull up a loop in the next stitch, and then pull a loop through all the loops on my hook. Now I'm going to chain one, and that'll count as my first stitch. And then I'm going to half double crochet into the middle loops of the half double crochets that I just made, starting from the second stitch. So I've reached the bottom of my work, and I did 12 more half double crochets in this row. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the next single crochet at the bottom of the tail. Then chain one. And once again, half double crochet in those middle loops until I have just two half double crochets left in the row for a total of 10 half double crochets. Okay, I've finished 10 half double crochets, and I'm on my last two half double crochets, so once again I'm going to decrease. Then chain one. and half double crochet into the middle loops until I get back to the bottom. So I've reached the bottom again after doing 10 more half double crochets. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the next single crochet at the bottom of the tail. Then chain one, and I'm going to keep repeating this pattern until I get to the middle single crochet at the bottom of the tail, so this is going to be my last row. I'm going to keep half double crocheting into those middle loops until I have just two half double crochets left. This time I have a total of eight half double crochets before my decrease. Then I'm going to decrease those last two half double crochets together. And chain one. And then half double crochet until I get to the bottom again. Now I've done my last eight half double crochets. And here at the bottom, I'm going to slip stitch one more time into the marked middle single crochet at the bottom of the tail. Then I'm going to cut off my yarn and sew in this end. And now to do the second fin, I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to pull up a loop in that first chain one that counted as the first single crochet at the bottom of the tail.
and chain 17. Then I'm going to repeat the same process as the first fin to make a fin of the exact same size. So now I've finished my second fin. So now I'm going to slip stitch into the same middle single crochet where I ended the previous fin. And then I'm going to cut off my yarn and sew in my end. And now my mermaid's tail is complete. Now I just need to make her some clothes and hair and she'll be done. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did give it a like, and if you missed the first part of this tutorial, the mermaid's upper body, be sure to check it out or to check out the written pattern in my Ravelry store. You could also follow me on Tumblr, Facebook, or Instagram, links will be in the description below. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye!